what it's worth today the screen is starting off with a bounce key question will it get sold into or not we're starting with about an 88 point uh, gap up on the nifty straight away uh, the pullback is visible across the sectors across i mean most most stocks almost all stocks barring an asian paints and lever are in the green on the nifty so what is rising high, highest adani enterprises is the winner right now about 1.7% uh, up uh, then you have a lot of the heavyweights uh, reliance icici bank hdfc bank infosys all your big boys state bank of india all of them are pushing up to the top side uh, good pullback in a couple of uh, names on the uh, tech side as well wipro for instance is up about 7 tenths of a percent tcs is very quiet just about a quarter percent higher infosys is uh, better compared to the others uh, you have bajaj auto that's looking up about 6 tenths of a percent there about coal india hindalco metal names are holding out pretty okay for the time being uh, sun pharma is up taro's numbers were good ekta was telling us so uh, this looks good for the time being uh, dr reddy's reports numbers stock is quiet and i said uh, consumer as i said consumer is selling off this morning lever titan nestle tata consumer britannia uh, even itc for that matter so fmcg and consumer is a no go zone rest of the market starts uh, pretty optimistic man well that's right let's run through some uh, winners and losers then shriram finance that stock is flying away the numbers look good the commentary as well was good we'll be joined by the management in a short while from now the stock up 6% pnb came out with a set of numbers they looked more good than bad and in fact yesterday as well we saw a bit of a recovery from the day as well the stock is up close to around 2% Dixon good performance particularly from the mobile division will be joined by the management in the next 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so that stock opens up the gain of around 2 and a half percent how do they ramp up from year on is going to be important and trajectory trajectory in terms of margins as well Venus pipes well that's another stock that delivered a fairly good set of numbers uh, you know it's been a big out performer but those numbers look pretty good capacity expansion coming on stream and backward integration so that one initially as well was up close to 5% Sizzlon Energy, uh, you know that one did see a recovery in yesterday's trading session. It returns back to its winning ways, so that stock is up plus around three percent. SCPC, another stock in terms of high volume movers this morning, that stock as well is higher uh, in the green as we speak. I think it was up plus around six percent. SCPC, one of the top volume uh, movers. On the downside, MMPC, well that's uh, one stock that's under some pressure. Uh, so you know that one has seen a correction from eighty five. to around that 52 odd mark currently down close around 2% and i think westlife food as well the initial tick was in the red uh, you know that come out with a set of numbers we'll be joined by the management at around 10:30 am today so westlife uh, as well comes up it's down close around 5% as we speak by the way shriram finance is adding one more stock to nigel's list i don't know if you spotted that or not what a move on shriram 7% on the back of the uh, uh, up upgraded outlook you know uh, uh, surbhi it's it's one of the largest nbfcs i mm. think almost uh, i think the uh, aum should be closer to 2 lakh crores uh, and it it used to be at least the cheapest uh, mm. you know in that in that size uh, of uh, companies and it's making up uh, big time over the last 6 months or so it's done uh, phenomenally well it's kind of woken up uh, so uh, 19 20 uh, or so is where sri ram finance is uh, trading at uh, the market's doing well right i mean 86 odd points so we were up almost 100 uh, and uh, we are up about 87 or uh, uh, points higher 18944 is where we find ourselves at uh, just a quick look at the nifty bank which of course has been the the you know vastly more weaker uh that is also coming trying to come up a little bit it's uh, up about 0.6% or so uh so let's see how how far how strong we are able to go well uh just a few other names right a bsc we were uh, toying with 1800 now bsc has moved up almost to 1900 kind of levels now it uh, 1870 or so on uh, bsc uh that's the one a uh, big 13% recovery from the, from the day's lows yesterday rbl bank and these have all got these are some of the largest volume traded names here uh, in the market rbl is up 3% you know because over the last couple of days uh, while markets were in a turmoil numbers and earnings etc took a bit of a back seat right because uh, the overall driver was uh, the fact that markets were selling off and it was global led uh, so there will be and because we are in the earning season and there've been disappointments and there've been surprises i think uh, you will start to see if the market stabilizes a, a little bit reaction to the earnings even from a few days ago uh, indian overseas bank uh, is in, is another one but kind of uh, slightly higher only slightly higher adani power had seen a big move from the days low uh, stocks up about 2% here jindal saw had you know these are all names we put up on that uh, screen earlier jindal saw saw a 10% plus move from the days low it's up another 2% this morning I think Nigel mentioned Venus Pipes, six percent higher, thirteen seventy-three. Credit Access is another one, right? I mean, three and a half percent on Credit Access. 
almost 1,600 on that one. CDSL is up about 3%. Again, huge volumes here, 1,328. Union Bank is up about two and a third of a percent. Uh, what else? I mean, uh, Bank of India comes up with about a two and a half odd percent gain. Karnataka Bank is up almost 4%, 230 on uh, Karnataka Bank. Uh, Lemon Tree is up about two, two and a quarter percent. So yeah, there are lots and lots of names. Market breadth uh, to begin the day is up eight is to one. 250 stocks are lower and you got almost about 1,700 stocks which are higher. This is across the board on the uh, NSC. So that's the uh, that's the picture as things stand right now. JSW Energy has had, had a bit of a whipsaw. Day before yesterday, it sold off. Yesterday, it bounced quite sharply. It's starting the day about one and a half odd percent lower. Uh, so, and MMTC is another one. We've highlighted this quite a bit. You know, in the last six sessions, MMTC is down some, I think, 40 percent or so. Uh, so it's, I think, right there on the top of the losers list uh, if you sort this by uh, the NSE 500 uh, group of stocks here. So 85 points higher on the Nifty. We're at about 18,000. 942. Well, indeed, uh, you know, it floated like a butterfly, MMTC. Now it's stinging like a bee from around 85 rupees all the way. Not a small <laughs> well, that one, you know, you just pull up the last few, uh, uh, last one week chart, it'll tell you the picture. So we've been warning our viewers out there about some of these low liquidity stocks. So please take some of that caution on board. But otherwise, it's a good start. After a while, the bulls will be raising their bat and saying, we have almost got a century, you know, to kickstart uh, trade, which is good, but can we build on from here? We're in